And that's another thing. Like, this should not have worked. Like, getting Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield three Spider-Man, it should it should have failed. It should have been worse than Spider-Man three because you have like five villains and three heroes. Like, that sounds like a disaster, right? Today, we're bringing one of our favorite guests. Ethan is here with us. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the Spider-Man movie. And- like, I watched it twice because, like, first of all, it's a great movie. Like, I think by far it's my favorite Marvel movie. Like, they've done. Mm. Like, I think it beats all the other ones. When I remember like watching it the first time, like seeing Andrew Garfield appear and then seeing uh, Tobey Maguire and all of them back in it, I was just like, like, cause I'm in all the entire time watching. I'm like, wow, this is really happening. Like they're on screen together. I was wondering then, how they were going to put them in to the movie. Like yeah, where they point. were going to come from. Same. Yeah, uh, like, are they just going to come out and during a fight scene, you know? Or? The thing with the goblin, I thought that was so awesome. How he was yeah. like, like, dude, I think that was, like, the best villain of the, the movie was Goblin. Yeah. Then I love what they did with the costume. They took it back to the uh, comic version costume. Yeah. With, like, the purple hood and all yeah. that. Willem Dafoe's performance, man, is so good. Like, and I know yeah. he's an actor because I've seen him in other movies, like The Lighthouse, and he's, like, really good in that. I could see that he's just such a good actor when he's doing that fight scene when, with Tom Holland, uh, the Spider-Man, at the beginning at the apartment. And he's just punching him in the face and he just turns back and smiles like kind of like the Joker kind of style. From the dark. And I was like, wow, that, just that freaked me out. But I was like, it's so good. Like, that's just such a good the actor. Fight scenes, and that's another thing. The fight scenes seem like these are the most brutal fight scenes like Marvel has ever done. Like, I can't even think of anything more. Not even that. It got dark. It got dark yeah. in the fight. It's like it got real like emotionally connecting because I. Like, you see Tom Holland, which speaking of Tom Holland, he had a great performance. I think that's one of his, his best. Yeah, this was Oscar worthy. I will dare to say that because it yeah. was. Yeah, honestly, I think he should win one after seeing yeah. that because the way he's developed through just even, let's say, the Spider-Man and Avenger movies, I think he's came so far in just the Spider-Mans overall. Yeah, like, yeah. I know those, those are my favorite ones. Like, I don't hail them, you know, but this really blew my mind, like this movie the amazing spider-mans and like the regular spider-mans with toby Maguire, like those were dark in itself like they were dark and i didn't think they were going to get dark with this because you know it's marvel yeah. and to see tom holland be able to act like them and like a darker spider-man i thought that it was just a perfect performance out of all yeah. three of them toby and andrew they picked up the character like they never left off andrew garfield like i always loved, liked his kind of version of spider-man and peter i always thought it was really interesting and i kind of liked how it was a darker kind of more brooding teenager kind of take like he's not like a classic nerd he's more like a kind of like the outcast and i was like oh that's kind of a cool i like that but i didn't like the villains in his movies i was like oh man i wish they had better villains and it would be like perfect andrew garfield in this movie though just so good like he and his emotions and like he had the going going through gwen's death and all that was so good like and, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, he was so attached to his character, like emotionally, like him able to cry on point and like yeah. it's just every I think his performance was to me, it was kind of like the spotlight of the movie was Andrews yeah. is the way yeah. he was able to do that. And then when he saves MJ and it was like yeah. recreating the and when Gwen died, that yes. was like, that, dude, that, 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 that was really that almost cheered like, me up, man. Yeah, that, was, that, was that was such an impactful moment because it goes it, it, it connected so many things. You know, he wished he could have done that for, for Gwen, right? But, mm-hmm. you know, uh, it was like Tom Holland, you know, seeing that he wasn't going to be able to do that, but then he still saves her. I think that uh, that kind of made like a that, really like climatic moment right there. When that was happening, I thought she was going to die because, you know, Tom was already going down and the goblin hits him out of the way. And then Andrew gets a late jump. And I was like, oh, my gosh, she's going to die in front of him again. Uh, and they saved her. And I, 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 was like, I was like, oh, my God. I, I almost wanted to cheer out loud. I was like, oh, my gosh, dude. Yeah, like, like, that's such good I, writing. Like, such good that like, he doesn't even have to say anything. Like, you can just see it on his face. Like, Yeah, yeah. his face told the story in itself. And yeah. I also like when he first came in, just his personality was just so interesting. Like he's very like I get my like my friend Jacob said he's like quirky. When Tom Holland like realized that Green Goblin was about to kill Mary Jane, I think that's what drove his rage at the end. Cause he Green Goblin already killed May and he already said, I want to kill him after that. But then he was about to, he almost killed Mary Jane. Like literally it almost happened. And so remember, like right after he was hitting the glider and then he ripped the bomb out, and then that's when the mm-hmm. he was about, like, brutal, like beating the hell out of him and was about to kill him and 
I was like, man, I did not expect that Spider-Man to go that dark. Like, where he's actually going to try to kill him. You know? Yeah. yeah but- like Tom Holland? Yeah, I didn't think he was going to actually yeah. go at it. But Yeah, but at the beginning, whenever uh, Doc Ock, he shows up and he's like, I should have killed your girlfriend when I had the chance. And then he goes in full rage mode on the yeah, bridge just because he said that. Like, I don't right. know. I felt like I had that in perfectly because they hinted it at the beginning of the movie about how overprotective he is and stuff. Like, you could tell it was CGI, obviously, but it wasn't, like, the point to where it's, like, all right, that's, like, kind of, yeah, they, uh, like, they done the they other Avengers. Like, yeah, they used to always have CGI. But now, like, mm-hmm. the mask off, I noticed they didn't have a CGI, which I'm, like, finally, you know, that's... Yeah, that real suit, this movie. Yeah, I know. That was a lot better. That's what I want. Man. Like, that's... Those emotional moments, like, I just feel like the Tobey Maguire movies had a lot of that emotional side of things. Like they developed the character really well, like the plot and the other ones were more like action based. It was just, you know, kind of like here and there, you know, just kind of saving the world and that sort of thing. But I think here in this movie, they kind of brought that emotion back again. Showing like kind of like that, that weak side of Spider-Man, like Spider-Man couldn't stop the green goblin, like at the beginning, because he was just super powerful. Right. And even the Green Goblin's kind of like poking at his weakness. You know, you're just a child, you, this and that. And, and honestly, like, that's what kind of sparked all the other villains to kind of get out of hand, right? It was kind of like the Green Goblin was just kind of like poking at, e- at each other, right? Because they would, otherwise, without the Green Goblin, I think, you know, everybody would have like fixed themselves at the beginning and, you know, everything yeah. would have been fine, right? But it's like putting those seeds of like conflict and like, oh, that's what I like the most about this movie. That's why it's so different because the other one, the other first two with Tom Holland felt more like comedies, like comedy action kind of. And there's maybe like one scene of drama, but then it wasn't like that deep. Well developed. But But this one really. When he fights uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, that kind of got darker too because like he killed him in the end and all that. Like, yeah, that that was. was First serious part of that Spider-Man kind of thing is that Tom Holland was doing was the end fight scene with uh Jake Gyllenhaal, but that was about it. The rest were like you yeah. said, kind of like childish kitty movies, you know. Like, and I think the biggest thing goes back to is he really had way like huge consequences, like compared to the other ones. Uh, the consequences mm-hmm. he faced were real and they were serious, and they were not just small things; they were huge things. Like in the first one, it was mm-hmm. like, oh, Iron Man takes away his suit. It's kind of like a small consequence, but then it kind of works out. But this one, like someone dies and then someone's about to die and then the world is kind of at stake. And then it's like really more psychological kind of. And I think they did a good job of like exploiting that he's still a kid, you know, like at the beginning, he wants to just get rid of him. He's done. But then Aunt May, she's like, no, that's not you. You got to find your real self of helping. And then he goes to finding himself to helping people. Then the rage takes over because he's still young and doesn't know how to control it. And then he goes back to helping. Like, he's trying to figure himself out like a kid yeah, would, you know? He is a kid, yeah. All these movies are definitely more about his adulthood, and he was already kind of, like, figured a few things out. But, but Tom Holland he just doesn't know, you know? Yeah. And, you know, like, what would really, like, impacted me a lot was at the end when he moves in by himself. Like, he yeah, moves I into know. a room. Yeah. Oh, oh, like, yeah. that shows, yeah, like, like him becoming like an again. adult. Yeah, like, yeah, he's not like, just a kid now. With that, Aunt May. Hawkins Diner, that that scene was crazy too because like he promises them he's gonna make them remember him. And he yeah. walks in there and then he, oh, he be a bigger was, man by just not doing nothing. That, that took a lot of box. yeah. That, 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 that was a lot. scene hit me hard too though. That may scene yeah. hit me hard, but that one hit me almost just as hard because like you can see it like his acting is so good in that scene, all of them that you can just see it in his eye like he wants to tell it so bad, but he wants to do the right thing and he sees how happy. For them too you could tell in his face like you know it would make him happy that they would remember him and be his best friend again but then he sees that you know he remembers he ruined their lives and now he, he fixed it and he sees how great and prosperous they're gonna be and all that and he's just like being the bigger man of letting them live their own life now instead of being yeah. like brought down by him and his consequences you know that's the wow. kind of writing that i've been wanting for so long for them to finally get back with spider-man because that writing is almost at the same level or it is at the same level as like Spider-Man 2, like just certain scenes of Spider-Man 2, like in Spider-Man 2 when Peter finally tells Aunt May that what really happened to Uncle Ben, like that whole scene was so well written, the acting and everything. There wasn't any music. It was just simple, but it felt like it was straight out of like a different movie. Like, 
And that scene in the diner, like, felt the same way. Like, it was so well written and so well acted compared to, like, the usual superhero movies where it's always, like, you know, just, like, kind of like the usual stuff. I wouldn't say this one was, like, a really happy ending, you know, because, like, he got nothing out of it. Like, he's alone now. Everybody he liked is gone. No one knows him. He's he's a nobody now. That's a powerful way to end the movie just because, you know, it goes to show, like, not only can he have a fresh start, but also, you know, I think it, it adds to the maturity of, 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 like, what we're talking about, like, of Tom Holland as the, the Spider-Man. You know, now he's going to be an adult. And maybe he might walk back into the diner and, you know, who knows but it was so impactful like we you mentioned ethan that he was he was you know better than that you know he wasn't just like oh i'm just gonna take it back you know he he showed some emotional like you know uh for strength uh, yeah strength strength. yeah emotional strength to say like hey maybe not this time maybe i'll be patient you know and 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 scale it up instead of just like hey i'm gonna take it back my friends and you know, get everything that I had in my life because that's, that's what he was showing at the beginning, right. Of the movie when he just like said like, Oh, like I'm not getting into the school, you know, any school and, you know, everything's going crazy, you know, instead of being that uh, jittery, um, I guess like fast moving, you know, kind of like not thinking about it. He was more patient and like, Oh, okay. You know, I learned my lesson kind of deal and I'm just gonna go with the flow and, and that 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 actually took me by surprise because I, I honestly expected like you know in other movies just everything to kind of come back but it was like no like sometimes that like the playwright you know sometimes you need to take a step back and just be patient with things and I was like wow that, yeah. that, I, I applauded that part because yeah, I like it actually had like a deeper message like, I feel like that's what's missing in a lot of movies. Thank you.